All right, thanks, Bill. You know, these cooler temperatures mean oyster season and leftover oyster shells. But this year, more than three tons of oyster shells will be saved from the landfill and then put back in the water. The government is helping, but Matt Horton tells us it's College of Charleston students who are helping to bring the shells full circle. It's new tonight at 7. Came to us and presented us with this opportunity and asked us if we wanted to participate. They, all of these people, local government agencies launching an oyster shell recycling program. He, Nathan Acock. Just the, the scale of this project is huge. A little too huge. Shell recycling programs already cross country. Charleston, well, an oyster restaurant mecca too big for its own good. We didn't have the manpower to get into the restaurants on a timely basis, on a regular basis. Sending three tons of the little guys to landfills weekly, not to see to help others procreate and filter 50 gallons of water daily. But it's a great service to offer. So it is. Years of planning, a local option born, but missing something college students. They have such a drive and a need to help the environment. Enter Nathan and Students in Free Enterprise. It's an organization that does a lot of community outreach projects. He began hand counting thousands of shell scraps, writing business models for every restaurant that offers oysters in Charleston. In case you've never been here, seemingly it was endless. At first it was a little bit intimidating. But it paid off, earning Nathan an official seat on the panel. I feel like a proud mama. It'll stay that way. Nathan's insight and framework for Myrtle Beach and Bluffton. He's just happy to be there. To me as a college student, it's, it's pretty exciting to work with these people on a project like this. Matt Horton, Live 5 News. A seven-month trial period will begin Friday. Restaurants can use specially made oyster garbage cans for $20 a pop as needed until May 15th. Shellfish season opens tomorrow, October 1st.